It's your top tap, and today I'm going to do a little guide on how to get Poke2, a Discord Pokemon bot, and how to set it up in your server and get playing. This will just be kind of a surface level thing. Let me know if you want more in-depth guides on these Pokemon bots, or if there's a specific bot or feature you want me to cover. Let me know in the comments. So this is Poke2. This is probably the most popular one now. It is the most like the original Poke Chord, which was very famous. And uh, I made a guide for it. Then it went, you know, belly up. But Poke2, really, it's a very direct clone. has pretty much every feature and just a few extra ones. Um, if you're just looking for something to replace Poke Chord, I'd get Poke2. So, to start off to get Poke2, just kind of Google Poke2. Um, it'll be pretty much the first result here. Top.gg is where I add it. Um, there is an open source thing. You don't need to compile it, though. If, if you just want to play, um, go to top.gg right here and either invite it to your server, just pick a server, give it, you know, stuff it wants. I don't recommend giving the administrator feature. It doesn't need it. It wants it, but um, it, it needs other commands and other stuff instead. So I don't need to add it because I already have it in my server, actually. Or you can join the official support server. Uh, if you just want to see Pokemon spawn and stuff, just go to the support server. But if you want to kind of set it up and play with friends in your own server, then you want to invite it. So um, we're going to go and assume that you're going to invite it. Uh, let's just do a quick little overview. If you don't know what PokeCord is, basically when people talk, and I mean talk, I mean back and forth conversation, um, Pokemon spawn, and then you can catch the Pokemon. Um, something a lot of people don't get about these bots is that if you just spam they all kind of have some anti-spam features so if it's just a single person typing a over and over again 16 times per second it doesn't spawn pokemon very much if there's back and forth conversation between multiple people and there's gaps between the posts and stuff that is a lot more likely to spawn a pokemon so what i recommend is to have talk channels and a poke chord channel that's like separate and i'll, I'll get to that in a sec but basically, Pokemon spawn, you guess the name of the Pokemon, and if you get it right and you're first, then you catch the Pokemon, and that's all there is to it. Um, you trade and sell Pokemon, which is kind of weird. Um, it's like the, what the bad guys always do in the Pokemon games and the anime. It's like, you're not supposed to be selling Pokemon, but whatever. It's just a game. So if you want to just buy, you know, a high IV Pikachu or something, you can literally just search for Pikachus with a certain IV percentage, and there you go. Um... You can do battles. Um, the battle feature has been under heavy development. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into battles. I might, if people really want, I could do a video just on battles. But it's a 3v3 format. It's um, kind of awkward. It's it's been broken for most of the time I've played, so I, I don't have a high opinion of it. But I think it's been improved since I last played it. Um, it has lots of filters for mostly for searching your Pokemon. Like if you want to find your highest IV Onyx or something, you can do that. If you want to search the market. For high IV shiny onyxes, you know, you can do that. Um, I didn't know it had weather actually, but it has time, so like, I think Weavile's, Weevil's, um, Weavile's, and uh, Sneasel's and stuff only show up at night. Uh, Soul Rock only at, you know, daytime. Uh, I didn't realize it had weather, I'm not sure I hate to check on the weather actually. Um, shiny Hunting, so it has a feature where you can, um, it has a feature where, oh, there's a horsey right there. Um, so this is how you catch Pokemon. Horsey. You just guess the name. There we go. We got a horsey. So, um, you can do a shiny hunt. I'm not too impressed with this feature because I've caught... I, I, I'm doing a shiny chain for Sneasel. As you can see, I've caught zero Sneasels, so I'm not too impressed with that feature. The music's from Pokemon Rumble Rush, by the way. I just figured we should have some kind of music. Uh, a lot of people do use it. There's a big support server. Um, I do think it's really cool that it's open source. Um, I, I haven't checked out the source yet, but if you want to build your own Pokemon bot based off it, I guess you could. Um, that's basically the official list of features. So um, one thing I will say, I have a guide on my website, um, Poke2 Guide Commands List. It'll probably be the first thing you show up if you search for Poke2 Guide or Poke2 Command List. Uh, I try to keep all of the commands. It is an active development, so they, they do add some stuff that might not be immediately in the guide, but I try to add that as soon as I can. Feel free to add a comment if you need, uh, if there's something missing that you want to see in there. Um, I really do recommend the guide. So first thing we're going to do, let's say I just set up Poke2, right? So one thing you want to do, let's um, redirect spawns, redirect to hashtag 2. 
So I really recommend making a new channel just for Poke2. So I have a bot category here, create channel, be like Poke2, except, you know, I already, already did that. Um, wow, apparently you can make two certain channels with the exact same name. I, I actually did not know that. Um, and then one thing I did, I you go in here, make sure the Poke2 role has read, send messages, manage messages. Pretty much, uh, you can pretty much give it everything in its own role. Um, and what I do to avoid spam, let's go to our general channel. What I've done is I make sure Poke2 can read messages because, like I said, it it reads how many messages you send, and then you need to. Um, well, you want to probably disable send messages and stuff. This is just so that Pokemon don't spawn in the main channels and so like people don't use commands and spam it up because Poke2 gets really loud. The, the, there will be a lot of message spam. So I really recommend sequestering it in its own little channel, which we've done right here. I have it in the bot playground. It's in Poke2. So now I've redirected the spawns. By default, spawns will just happen anywhere and as people talk, they'll just be Pokemon and it's really a mess. I really recommend doing a redirect. You can redirect to multiple things. Just redirect uh, okay, 2 and bots. And now it's redirecting to multiple things. So you can have as many spawn places as you want. Um, and just make sure that Poke2 has the access to talk in that. Um, if you want to just get started, he starts and it'll let you pick a starter. So it would be pick Relic. Now, I've already started, so it's not going to give me a free route, but if you haven't started, that's how you start. Um, your save is in every channel, so or in every server, actually. it's All you need to do is set up once, and all your Pokemon go with your Discord account. So if I go to the official PokeCord server, it will be right there with all of my Pokemon. And, um, you know, you just you don't need to worry about your save. If you chain, If you're one of those people with multiple Discord accounts, they will only be on one Discord account. We'll do that. Um, so now that we've picked our thing and our picked our starter, um, go to P help to view a quick overview of all of the commands. Again, you can also read my guide for an in-depth thing with all of the command list. Uh, it's just on certapdep.com. So categories. First thing you want to do here is check out these bots, bot commands here. So like, if you want to see, if you missed the uh, invite, invite. If you want to get an invite to the official Poke2 server, so like, this is how you join the server, this is how you invite the bot, though. If you're using that command, you probably already have the bot. Um, you can check out your profile here, which probably won't be very interesting if you just started, but I'll show you my profile. As you can see, I, I don't use... Um, if you see people with a lot of legendaries and ultra beasts and shinies, what they probably did was they paid money for redeems. This is kind of... It's free to play, and so you can donate, and people that donate get the ability to, you know, spawn legendaries for free. Well, not for free, but, you know, for pay. Um, so I don't have legendaries because, you know, I just catch Pokemon, and they're very... Legendaries are extremely rare. Um, there's also IVs in the game. The IV spread is basically the way it works in normal Pokemon, so high IV Pokemon are rare. Um, do... So, set up. The bot. I recommend checking out these configuration commands if you're a server admin. If you're not a server admin, you know, you just play. But um, one thing I recommend, obviously I already did the re redirect. Uh, if the level up messages are too annoying, you can do server silence. And that dis disables all the level up messages. Um, it sends a DM when people evolve or reach level 100, that's nice. Um, you do to tell what time it is. I guess it tells... The, it doesn't tell the weather. I, I still... I'm confused about the weather thing. It says it has weather. Oh, I don't see any evidence of that, but it claims to do that. Uh, one thing you might want to do is change the prefix. So that's just P prefix. And I, I usually just make it a single character for mobile users. Um, a lot of people are just used to P, but I have multiple Pokemon bots, so that's why I have it like that. So let's check out our Pokemon. I have a Metagross. Hello, Oddish. Um, so to do a regular catch, you just do catch Oddish. Um, you can do just C Oddish, that would work too. Um, the way Pokemon work in this is that if a Pokemon spawns, there's only one Pokemon ever active at once. So if like something spawned after this Oddish and I didn't catch the Oddish, the Oddish is gone. Even if you catch the later Pokemon, Oddish is gone and you just... Sometimes that happens to Legendary and you'll be 
he'll be very sad. So, um, with the market. The market is actually a big pain in the butt. Market info. Okay, so this, searching the market is kind of a disaster. I don't. So there's a level 7 Sandy Guest. Searching the market would need to be its own video. The, the, the search arguments. Look at this. Search. Ugh. So searching the market is a big pain in the butt. If you want me to make a video on searching the market, I will. But it's it's too advanced for this. For just a quick basic thing. So if you want to battle people, you just do battle. Ask the user. Um, battles, again, I would probably want to make a, my, you know, a separate video on battles. Um, battles are very, they're very in development, so I've been reluctant to get too deep into them because the commands change all the time. It's a 3v3 format. So if you want to see all of your Pokemon, you just go to Pokemon. 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 So you can see I have 19 pages of Pokemon here. Just go to the next page. You can set. You can favorite your Pokemon. Favorite Metagross ever. Um, there's Oddish, there's Zubats. Um, Pokemon spawn pretty randomly. Um, I do think starters are a bit rarer. Um, legendaries are much, much rarer, and I think mythical Pokemon even seem a little extra rare. Ultra Beasts, of course, also their legendary tier rare. So you're not going to find like 5,000 Mewtwo's and stuff. If you see somebody that owns 5,000 Mewtwo's, they probably just did redeems. Um, to get currency in the game, there's a shop. Um, and to get currency, mostly you just vote, which is how pretty much all of these Discord bots work. You vote for them on top GG, you just use that button. And then it's like, oh, you want to vote? I already voted for the bot today. And then you open your rewards, so like open normal. And based on your chain, once you start getting Ultra and Master Mystery Boxes, you start getting a lot more Poke Coins. And you can get Pokemon in the boxes, which is kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Um, you just want to keep up your vote streak if you want to get lots of credits. That's really all you do. Um, as you catch Pokemon, you do get like 35 credits for catching a new Pokemon. Not really a lot. Um, you'll get a lot more just from the voting rewards, really. Um, shop. Their, their sub forms are supported. Evolution Stones, Form Change. If you want to know how to Pokemon Evolves, just go to Pokedex. Hand Sage. Um, so, Kadabra. Evolves from Abra starting at level 16. And evolves into Alakazam when traded, just like regular Pokemon. Pretty much everything evolution wise works the same way it does in regular Pokemon. Um, some Pokemon, like Alolan Pokemon, currently can't evolve. That's just a work in progress. All of these Pokemon bots are pretty much, you know, works in progress. So let's catch Pan Sage. Is that Simi Sage? I always forget. No, it's Pan Sage. Um, that's pretty much the long and short of it. If you're confused, just go to help. Check out the the guide. The written guide really does have a rundown of pretty much everything. Um, this is pretty surface level stuff here. Um, there are, you know, it does have move sets. Um, so you can check. It's kind of fully put together, but it does have status moves, which is the original Poke Cord I don't think ever had. Um, in terms of how do you battle strategically, well, just check out Smogon, check out Bulbapedia, it's the same stuff, really. It really, you know, it, it's a Pokemon game. The, the features work pretty much just like Pokemon. There's some weird quirks here and there, but anything that differs from the real Pokemon, it's, you know, it's just a bug. Um, I really don't get people that battle in it, honestly. It's more of a collection thing for me. But if you really want to battle, I really recommend uh, Smogon's Battle Simulator. It really... Poke... Oh, what the heck? I don't know what it's called. Just search Smogon Battle Simulator. Um, that lets you just pick out your Pokemon just set stuff up directly instead of having to, you know, search for IVs and stuff. Um, but that's pretty much the basics. So let's check out the shop one more time. Um, if you want to upgrade your Pokemon stuff, you pretty much need the shop. Um, you can change nature with nature mints, um, there's held items, there's form change items, so like, if you want to evolve, let's go to shop 2, and pick a Pokemon, if you want to evolve, select your current Pokemon, and then you need to, the, the stones are automatically applied, like, as soon as you buy them, you don't, like, there's no inventory at the moment, and, um, 
Shards are basically the premium currency, by the way. It's like shard shop. Shards are the premium currency used by special items. Um, and yeah, you can. These are basically meant to buy with real money, or you can, you know, buy a small amount with uh, Poke Coins. As you can see, you need 200 shards for a redeem. So, like I said, if you see somebody with crazy amount of Pokemon, um, that's probably because they paid money. As you can see, you can buy incense, which spawns Pokemon every 20 seconds for an hour. It's kind of neat, though. It's usually it's kind of gated by how much people talk, and there is like an absolute number of you know maximum amount of Pokemon that will spawn. So, like, if you set up a bunch of bots, which I'm sure is against Poke 2's terms of service, but if you set up a bunch of bots or something spam actually i think bots ignore all other bots by default so i don't think that'd even work but you know if you guys just like spam a bunch of stuff it's not gonna spawn like a pokemon every one second it's it's got anti-spam features so yeah um shinies do exist they are just as rare as normal pokemon um i have never seen one i probably never will so that's a thing but you know you're probably never gonna see it i don't know why people obsess over shinies but there you go um, like I said, there's the shiny hunt feature, which is very- you can't, like, focus. One thing I want to stress, you can't really focus on which Pokémon you get. You can't really be like, oh, I'm gonna make a channel where only Sneasel spawn. Like, no, I, I can't really do that. Unfortunately, that's not really a thing. Um, there's no regions, there's no gyms, there's no NPC battles. Um, there are Pokémon bots that do stuff like that, and I will try to make some more guides like this, uh, covering bots like that. Um, that pretty much covers the basics, so if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments, let me know if you want guides for different Pokemon bots, if you want guides for different features like Market or the Battle System, I might make a guide for those. Um, if there's any specific feature you want me to go in depth on, um, so just kind of, you know, surface level, hey, this is how the basics work, get you going, you know, poke around. Um, but feel free to ask questions, let me know what you think of Poke2, I do have um, guides for a bunch of other Pokemon bots on my site, like Mew and Poke Meow and um, Poke Realm, which is, is just kind of not as good Poke okay, 2, frankly. And uh, Poke D, which is an upcoming one, which is pretty neat. So um, make sure to leave a comment, um, like and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you later.